Hey folks, welcome. Here we discuss real stories by real people. Today we have the story of a man who finds out his girlfriend has been sleeping around with his neighbor. Let's see how it goes. Story 1. I-24 male, my now 22 ex-girlfriend, started living with me and my roommate after she had a really big fight with her abusive family and got kicked out. I don't really know the full story, but her parents are druggies, so I kind of doubt they were in the right. It was kind of cramped, and I think she didn't like my roommate too much because he was kind of a slob. Not too big of a deal, and otherwise it went fine. Things started to fall apart when I started my driving job. I work for Amazon as a delivery guy while she works from home doing remote teaching. I guess she wasn't really happy with her situation because she started effing around. My roommate pulls me aside one day and tells me that my girlfriend has been dressing up and leaving the house while telling him that she's been meeting me for dates or going to work meetings. He didn't buy that and started listening in on her conversations while I was at work. While it was mostly her work, he told me he thinks that she has a guy on the side and thought I should know. I didn't believe him at first and let it slide. Then he tells me that he saw her walking around with another guy that lives on the floor above us. That really got me for some reason, and I took it seriously. So I told my girl that I had to go out for a bit and wait outside for a while. Eventually, she heads out and tells my roommate we are meeting for lunch. He calls me and tells me what she said, so we both head to the floor above us and just go door to door. What do you know? We found her at another guy's place. I don't think the guy knew about me since he just opened the door and didn't try to hide her or anything. Obviously, she freaks out and starts crying. My roommate and the other guy just F off for a bit while we try to figure it out. She starts telling me this sob story about not feeling wanted, how her family's affecting her, all this shit to justify what she's been doing. She didn't even try to deny that she was cheating because we had her dead to rights. We go back and forth until the security of the complex tries to resolve what was going on. I just tell her she needs to go and starts bringing her stuff out of the apartment. She freaks out even more and even scratches the shit out of me and starts hitting me. After a while, she settles down and just starts taking her stuff. I don't know if she got anyone to come get her or if she just took her shit upstairs, but I don't care anymore. Update. Big update in the story. I got her back pretty badly. I left the complex when the lease was up and just decided to move into my own place. It's a bit smaller, but that's no big deal. Anyway, like two weeks after I moved in, I went out on a beach trip with my buddies since one of us was having his bachelor party. We fish, grill, and just have a nice time. I should mention that I live in Montana and where we vacationed was in Texas. Well, who do I get a message from after posting all that stuff? That's right, my ex-girl. She asked how I was doing. While I was just going to tell her about how good I had it without her, my friend suggested that I do something worse. So we set it in motion. During the whole trip, I kept in contact with her. I post cryptic pictures of myself on social media. We start talking again and I ask about her life. Turns out things weren't working with her new guy and she was about to be kicked out. She was always thinking of how she wronged me and was wondering if we ever had a chance again. Answer is effing no, but that's not what I said. I told her recently I had in fact come into an inheritance from my deceased uncle Joseph who lived in Texas and gave me his beach house in the will. I decided to move out here since it was a nice place but suddenly moving away from my old home was making me think about rekindling old flames. None of this was true. Eventually we get back together and I tell her that to make it official she should drop everything and book a flight to Texas to move in with me. She tells me she bought the ticket and is excited to start anew. I'm back in Montana already and she messaged an hour ago saying she was boarding her flight to Texas. Just blocked her on everything. Hope she likes her new start down there. Your ex still hasn't learned her lesson OP. She shouldn't have tried to get back to you after what happened between you two. She cheated on you with your neighbor and she just expects it all to be behind you after a conversation. She even flew down to Texas to be with you. It seems all she's looking for is an ATM or at least someone to provide her with a stable home. You did that for her, but she ruined it herself by sleeping around. Hopefully this is the last you'll hear from her. Story 2 My husband 33 and I 31 have been married for 5 years, together for 9. I messed up in the worst way possible. Sorry for the length. 
Allow me to preface this post by stating that my husband is perfect, to me, in every way imaginable. He is kind, sincere, honest, open-minded, intelligent, easygoing, and humorous. He is and always has been a very down-to-earth kind of person. I'm attracted to him in every way, and our emotional, verbal, physical relationship has never had any issues. I work in an industry which requires a fair amount of travel, two or four weeks per month for about three to four days per week. Most of my travel involves going to conferences and whatnot with colleagues at work and or in the industry. I often need to have dinner and drinks with these people as it's part of the job. At an event about three months ago, I met this man, let's call him Hank. From the first moment I met him, I found Hank to be absolutely gorgeous. He was the type of guy who could control a room with his charisma and the way he interacts with others. People were just instantly drawn to him and his personality, myself included. Later on that evening, I was having a drink at the hotel bar by myself before heading up to my room to call it a night. At least I thought. Hank shows up and asks if he can grab a seat next to me. He remembered my name, which was a surprise given how many people he was meeting at once. In any case, Hank and I got to talking and I ended up having more drinks with him. Flirting ensued, then touching, then me agreeing to let him walk me up to my hotel room. You know what happens then, the cheating. I let him in and that was that. Now is also a good time to state that Hank was unaware of my marriage. I never told him I was married, never even casually dropped it in our conversation. In fact, when we woke up that next morning, I immediately started bawling shocked as to what I had done. Hank attempted to console me and I told him through tears that I was married. All I remember is him saying, oh shit, and looking at me completely shocked. Then I remember the door closing a few minutes later. I told my work I was feeling very ill and they let me catch an early flight home. When I got home, my husband was just getting home from work. He thought I was surprising him by coming home early, I've done that before, but he saw that something was wrong. I lost it and told him everything, right then and there. I will never get the image of his eyes out of my head. Such an incredible amount of shock mixed with sadness. He tried to compose himself the best he could, but I noticed the slight shaking in his hands. He didn't say a word, packed an overnight bag and left. He texted me an hour after saying he was staying at his brother's for the night and left it at that. Fast forward three months to now, I've asked him if we can seek marriage counseling and he won't answer me. I've asked him if we can talk about it and he doesn't want to. He has slept in the spare bedroom since I told him. In fact, he said maybe 10 things to me in the past three months. Things like he took out the garbage or asked me if I was done using the shower. I know my actions were wrong and completely 100% my fault. For the life of me, I cannot figure out why I even cheated on him in the first place. I wanna save my marriage. I'm desperate. I'll do anything, anything to fix this. Our friends and families know what happened. My own parents have told me that if he wants a divorce, then I should honor it. I hope to God it doesn't come to that. Any advice is appreciated. I don't know what else to do. I want to cry every time I see him and smother him with love and kisses and affection. He doesn't display any emotion in front of me, and I just know this is destroying him inside. I will do anything and everything for him and us to be better. I don't want to lose the greatest thing that has ever happened to me, him. Update. I need to clarify a few things. To the people accusing me of being some sort of troll or a member of the Red Pill, I don't even know what that is, and sending me threatening messages, please stop. Regarding my wedding ring, yes, I wear a ring. When my husband gave it to me, neither of us had much money, so it's just a simple band. Nothing extravagant. I've never wanted or needed anything else, but yes, that is a good question. People in my line of work have money, and I'm the only person around usually without a giant rock on my finger. That could have been it. I don't know, and I don't care. I'm not attracted to Hank and haven't been since the incident. Period. I effed up. I know I did. I'm just trying to get actual advice from other people that might have been on my side of the scenario. OP, you've done everything you can. The only thing left is to give him the space and time he needs to decide if he wants to work through it or if he wants to end it. You cheated. You don't get any say in this anymore. You effed your marriage, broke his trust and his heart, and changed the way he sees you forever. Some people can get over that. Most can't. 
Back off, don't push him to make a decision, and start coming to terms that your one night of lust may have cost you far more than you were willing to lose. Now for some comments. Even if he forgave you 100%, what would stop you from doing this again? You say you had a perfect marriage, yet you wanted to cheat simply because the other man was hot. There really is no way of telling if you'll ever do this again or not. For that reason alone, your husband can't just take you back and trust you again. I'm sorry for your husband. I hope you can let go and be happy with someone who wants a perfect husband. Clearly you didn't and wanted some drama in your life. It's an advice forum. Hopefully I can offer something useful. Having been cheated on before, I can understand your husband's behavior. There were times when I felt semi-okay and times when I was a complete wreck. I certainly couldn't bear to have her extend me physical affection because it brought images into my mind of the physical affection she showed that other man. Giving him time to process it all is the only thing you can give him. Time and genuine, sincere understanding. Don't get frustrated when he barely looks at you. Don't feel neglected if he doesn't show affection. Be patient and wait until he figures out what he wants and prepare yourself to accept whatever consequences come. You ruined your perfect marriage. It will never be the same again, even if you do move past this. At least you owned up to the infidelity right away and I think showed genuine remorse. Perhaps he can move past it, perhaps not. It's out of your hands now. If you want to hope that he will move past it, you need to give him time and space to process things. Let him know that you're there if he wants to talk to you about anything and show him total unwavering openness and honesty from this point forward. If he does decide to stay, marriage counseling is definitely an important step. Also, in the future, do not go on any more business trips without your husband. Do not put yourself into positions where your weakness can get the better of you.